hi friends welcome back to angular tutorial in this video we will going to discuss about angular pipes so when we discussed about angular modules we already said that a module is consist of some components some pipes some other things so we will discuss about that pipes okay so basically pipe used to transform any strings currency amounts dates and some other data for display just okay so pipes are simply functions you can use in template expressions to accept an input value and return a transformed value okay so let's see how pipe are using in angular so here you can see the angular tutorial and its pipes okay so basically this text is coming from the main component of angular that is when we are installing our angular application the default component we will get that is the app component and that text is coming from app component dot html that is the app component html file okay so now here i will create a property in the typescript file that is the app component dot ts file and we will display inside the app component dot html file with the pipes okay so there may have a defined types of data types first i will start from string suppose here i am creating a angular property that is string type so here i am declaring the property name is name and here i am writing the value inside this property that is david greek okay suppose this is the name and i want to display this name from app component.html file so just right here suppose here i am taking the hc tags so inside the hc tag we will just print the name so now if we go to the browser and we can see the david greek so now how pipe works on this so i want to modify the display that is the main text that is the app component of ts will not change the text here but i want to display this text as uppercase or lowercase okay so how we can do this so in this case we need pipes so to write pipes we need these things and we will write upper case okay so if we just go to the browser we can see the all text is appearing in the upper case so in the same way if you write the same things and will write lower case then what happened so it will display all the text in lower case so you can see here this is lower case okay but originally we have declared the d as capital and g as capital so using the pipes we are modifying these things so in the same way we can modify the number also so i am creating a floating type number so here i am creating amount and suppose the amount is 36.52 okay anything so just use these things and we'll apply pipe on this so how we can do this so let's create another hc tag and inside the hc tag just write amount first so we can see the 36.52 now i want to convert these things in us dollar so how we can do this so here using the pipe we will write currency and here just use the usd so if you write this so you can see that is dollar 36.52 so in the same way if you write the value as inr we can see the output that is inr that is the rupee for indian structure okay so it is for number and now i want to use the amount is 36.52 and i am writing some text okay so in this case if we just print single amount then what happened so we can see the full amount here okay now i want to make the number up to two decimal points so how we can use this so here we'll use the pipe and we'll format with the number 
and first we will write 2 and then point that is 2 point and 2 2 2 okay 2 hyphen 2 that means means it will display the number from 2 position to up to 2 decimal points okay so 36.53 and if you write this here 3 means from 2 position to up to 3 okay so you can see that is 529 okay now i am going to use some array how we can use this so suppose i want to create a new property that is the array type property suppose i am creating a property item and this is array okay so now i am defining some value so here write books pen chair table whatever you want i am just giving you a simple example and in this case if i just print the output then i am creating a c tag so you can use any tag but i am here i am writing a c tag okay so just printing the output that is item we can see the books pen chair table now i want to use the slice operation so how we can do this so i want to slice with the index so here i am writing slice and we'll add colon and then one and two so the one means is zero one two three so for one means here this is pen and for two means this is chair so it will slice from index one up to two okay so just see the array so for index one that is pen and up to two so zero one two so it will just print the pen and in this way if you write three that means zero one two three that means it will display from one to two so pen and chair so in this way we can use the slice operation on the array so basically we are using all those things which are provided from angular but we can create our own pipes also we will discuss in our next video how to create a custom pipes but for now we are using the predefined pipes so if we just use a simply object how we can use this so here i am creating a object that is user object and here i am defining that is the key is name and that is john and this age suppose 20 so how we can print this so same way so write is 3 and inside the h3 i want to use the json formatted data so write user and pipe and json so you can see the json formatted data so in this way we can use our predefined pipes from angular so this is all about the angular application and there are lots of pipes you can go to the angular websites and you can see there are lots of pipes and their uses so i am displaying here the few of this and next day we're going to discuss about the most important things suppose you need to display some things else which are not declared in angular so how we can use this so we will discuss about how to create your own custom pipes in angular okay so don't miss that video and please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video and if you have any queries about this video please comment in a below comment section thanks for watching this video have a good day. Bye.